The thing about metals is, they all look roughly the same, but they're not the same. This is steel and this is aluminium. Aluminium is three times lighter than steel. Here was the perfect metal to take us into the next age, the age of flight. Except for one thing, aluminium is just not strong enough. Scientists around the world began to look for ways to make aluminium stronger. Among them was the German metallurgist Alfred Wilm. Wilm knew that our ancestors had strengthened copper by mixing it with tin. And what made steel strong was having the right combination of iron and carbon. So he set about mixing aluminium with other metals. He finally ended up with an alloy of aluminium, copper, manganese, and magnesium. He named it duralumin. And then he thought, when you want to make really hard steel, what you do is you quench it. So he took those alloys and he put them in a furnace and he quenched them. Here it is. And I'm gonna quench it. Now, once he quenched the alloys, the moment of truth came. <laughs> Would it be as strong as steel? No. And this happened time and time and time and time again. Until he could take the disappointment no more. He stormed out of his lab and went boating for a few days. But while he was messing about on the river, something remarkable happened. Something that Wilm had neither planned nor even imagined possible. This is the same alloy. The only difference is it's, it's a week later now. And watch this. <laughs> it's much, much stronger. <laughs> and this is what Wilm found when he returned from his boating trip. Without Wilm lifting a finger, his alloy had transformed itself from a weak, bendy substance into a strong, rigid one. It was almost as though the lump of inert metal he had left behind was a living thing that had changed over time. It had grown harder as it aged. What Wilm had discovered is something called age hardening. Let me show you how it works. So if this is a crystal of aluminium, we know that's really soft. What we need is something that's gonna make it stronger. Well, actually, he'd found an alloy which, when you leave it over time, tiny little crystals grow inside the aluminium crystals. They emerge out of the kind of atomistic mist. And it's those that harden the crystal. They make it stronger, they reinforce it. As new crystals grow, they interfere with the lattice and the aluminium alloy's ability to shuffle atoms and change shape. This makes it harder and stronger. 